Not bad this morning in the metro. We're looking pretty good. We're looking at partly cloudy and kind of just some upper level clouds. Now we do have the showers and thunderstorms mainly along the coast this morning. You go down towards lower uh, Lafourche, towards Port Fouchon, Grand Isle, seeing some downpours, even down towards Buras. Uh, you're seeing some downpours down there. But other than that, there's not a whole lot going on inland that will change though as we go throughout the next couple of hours. So showers and storms kind of developing over the next uh, probably by 10 a.m. We'll start to see more activity in the lower uh, bayou parishes and then more thunderstorms across the entire area later this afternoon. It'll continue into the late afternoon evening and then we'll start to dry out uh, a little bit tonight, but still going to be probably dealing with a few showers and storms, especially along the coast. So here's your hour by hour showing by 10 a.m. There's your showers and storms popping up from Thibodeau down towards Homa possibly, and it's kind of the opposite of yesterday. Yesterday we had more of the storms on the North Shore. Today it looks like maybe more of the South Shore, so a little bit of a flip there. By lunchtime, 1, 2 o'clock, still seeing some heavy showers and thunderstorms south of the lake. More showers starting to spread north of the lake as we go into the afternoon and then kind of drying out as we go into the evening, similar to yesterday with one or two spotty showers. So it's not going to rain all day long. You might not even see heavy, heavy rainfall, but there is that potential to see some strong storms out in the tropics, watching a new area stretching all the way from the Gulf Coast up towards the eastern coast off the Carolinas has a very low chance of development over the next couple of days. Uh, what we're mainly focused on, of course, is kind of what we're watching now is just south of the Mississippi coast, south of Alabama and south of the Florida a panhandle. Now notice there's not a lot going on right now. We do have some thunderstorms out here, but there's this trough of low pressure. That's what's been kicking off all these storms every day, and this thing has stalled out in the northern Gulf of Mexico. So we're expecting more storms to develop, and when that happens this time of year, you can occasionally start to get a little low pressure trying to develop, and that's exactly what we think might happen kind of in this general vicinity over the next 24 hours. Low chance of it happening, but models are picking up on it. Here's the Euro model. I'll show you what it's thinking. You've got your trough of low pressure here this kind of black line here. We'll start to see maybe a uh, kind of a, an area a concentrated area of that low pressure coming together as we go throughout tonight, kind of in this area right here. Here's New Orleans. Here's the Mississippi coast. Here's Mobile and Pensacola. Notice it's drifting away from us though, so this not going to have much time to develop. If it does develop into a low pressure, it's very close to land. However, don't be surprised. It's possible we could get a depression out of this or something as it makes its way towards the Florida Panhandle. Then it'll make its way towards the Carolinas, and that's where uh, they could have potentially more development. So regardless, our forecast not going to change. We're really not even expecting any significant winds from this. If it does develop, we could see some gusts over 20 miles per hour at times. Tropical Depression 5 north of Bermuda going to continue. Could become Edward later today. Something interesting about it, if it does become Edward, it will be our earliest E storm on record, beating the old record of Emily back in 05. But for us, we're staying wet today. We're staying wet tomorrow, regardless of tropical development, drying out by the middle and end of the work week.